In today's video, I will teach you how to fill an area with transparency in GIMP. Let's get started. When working with GIMP, creating a transparent background is a common task, especially when placing objects in new images. GIMP doesn't automatically assume that you want transparency when deleting pixels, so it's essential to add an alpha channel manually. Here's a detailed guide on how to fill an area with transparency in GIMP. Here's a quick way to fill an area with transparency. First is to add an alpha channel. Open the layer menu, select transparency, and click add alpha channel. This step is crucial as it adds an alpha channel, which stores transparency information. Now, select an area. For this, use any selection tool to choose the area that you want to make transparent. And to delete pixels, press the delete key to remove the selected pixels, turning them transparent. The transparent pixels are represented by a checkerboard pattern in GIMP. And to understand alpha channel, digital images consist of color channels, red, green, and blue, which combines to create color. An additional channel, the alpha channel, stores transparency information. White pixels in the alpha channel indicate full visibility. Black pixels mean full transparency. And grayscale pixels represent a partial transparency. Now, to make a selected area transparent, first, you need to add an alpha channel. To do this, open the layer menu, select transparency, and click add alpha channel. You can verify the alpha channel's existence in the channels panel. Now, make a selection. For this, you can use any selection tool, for example, elliptical selection tool, to choose the area for transparency. Then press the delete key to remove the selected pixels and make them transparent. A bonus method is using color to alpha. For this, you need to open color to alpha. Open the colors menu, then select color to alpha. The color to alpha dialog window will appear. By default, the color value is set to white. Use the eyedropper icon to choose the background color. Then adjust other options as needed. Now, you can convert color to transparency. Then click OK to convert the selection color to transparency across the image. This bonus method is particularly useful for product shots with solid color backgrounds and can save time compared to manual selection. It's worth noting that while color to alpha simplifies the process, it may affect specular highlights, which can be corrected with additional adjustments. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.